What in the world kind of MacBook is this? You'd be forgiven for thinking that after just a quick glance at this thing, but it's actually not a MacBook at all. It's just my 12.9 inch iPad Pro hooked up to the Bridge Pro keyboard. Now I've been interested in this thing since it was released earlier this year, but the price was a little bit too steep for me. Now when it went on sale for Black Friday, the mad dash into a Walmart, Walmart store knocked shoppers to the ground near Grand Rapids, Michigan at five in the morning. Despite several people falling to the ground, shoppers charged ahead, fixated on door buster deals. I went ahead and pulled the trigger and purchased one, and I've been using it ever since. Let's take a closer look at this thing. The keyboard is all aluminum, or aluminium for my British friends watching from across the pond. Plenty of space on the keyboard itself, so your fat man hands. <laughs> Would you like some bread, Jerry? No, no thanks. I'm just not hungry. Well, then at least drink your beer. Twist off. Won't feel cramped even after long typing sessions. The keyboard is backlit, which not only looks good, it also allows you to type away after your bedtime underneath the covers, and your parents will never be the wiser. That'll show them. Along the top row, you have your media keys, volume, screen brightness, power, and battery indicator. The hinge mechanism feels suitably beefy, as it should, since it will be holding your iPad Pro, and it goes flat to 180 degrees. Along the side, there's one USB-C charging port, and flipping this thing over, you have your four rubber feet to prevent the device from sliding around. Nobody likes sliding around. And what do we have here? Designed in Park City, Utah. I can only assume by some ski bros. First of all, look straight ahead when you ski. If you look down, you're gonna fall, you're gonna have a bad time. Also, be aware of skiers around you. If you run into another skier, your skis are gonna cross, gonna have a bad time. So where's the part where we have a good time? And they did a real good job. Something for you to note about this keyboard, it's a real thick boy. It weighs in at 1.51 pounds. And for reference, the 12.9 inch iPad Pro weighs 1.4 pounds. So you're more than doubling the weight with this thing. The iPad requires a little bit of force to get into the rubber slots, but once it's in, it feels very stable. Now, for the most important part, the actual typing experience. And I'm happy to report that it's great. Since the keyboard is so thick, there's a lot of room for key travel, which really helps. And the keys themselves feel much better than most of Apple's MacBook lineup, which uses the old butterfly style, except the new 16-inch MacBook Pro, which goes back to the scissor style. I was up to typing speed in no time and I wasn't making any more mistakes than usual. Bridge claims that on a full charge, the keyboard will last 12 months with two hours of use a day without the backlight on, or 20 hours of continuous use with the backlight at full brightness. Personally, I don't care if I need to plug this thing into charge every week. The main reason I was interested in this was because I wanted something that allowed me to use the iPad Pro on my lap while I was sitting on the couch or laying in bed for some basic browsing and word processing. And this fit the bill perfectly. I never felt like the iPad Pro was unstable or that it was gonna fall down. In the beginning, it really felt like I was using a MacBook. I even kept reaching down to try and use the trackpad that wasn't there. Now, if only Apple would release some actual mouse support for iPad OS, but that's a discussion for another time. So should you buy the Bridge Pro keyboard for your iPad Pro? Well, if you're looking for what I was and want an excellent typing experience, I say definitely go for it, especially if you can get it for around $100 like I did. The Bridge Pro gets 4.5 out of 5 bytes. If you like this video, bite that subscribe button. That's it for me this time. Thanks for watching.